Hi everyone. Right, I think before I do the dress form, I've got two here. This is the one I'm going to be doing and make it from paper. And this is the one I'm going to also be doing and making from paper, but I just want it that I'm not this is a model I use to make other things. So, I think you need to know a little bit about folding paper. Now there's lots of techniques you can use. You can do panels to go on to a project like that, you know, and do so many of them to go all the way around and then you can have a ruched skirt at the front. You can do crease paper and then gather it up and make your skirt. So I show you, this is a technique I'm gonna use on here. So you just glue it on like that and then you can layer and layer. So you can do that one, but you know, a lot of people just get paper and do that with it and it's it really doesn't work better there's a better way to make it work put it that way and in order to do that you can wet it and then when it dries this is fine but when it dries it dries stiffer now you can use a fabric stiffener on it so you can soak it spray it with a fa fabric stiffener crease it where you want it to crease and leave it and then that'll be great and a lot of people use that a lot of people use wallpaper glue that you can just cover it with wallpaper glue and then do what you like with it you can glue it on and then paint it with glue it's it's up to you but there are techniques to uh, doing paper so what I'm going to do is uh, I don't want these stripes that way I want them that way so what I'm going to do is just fold this I need so many um, stripes so I can't find my cutter I don't know what I've done with it so I'll just have to do it this way for now let me just make sure you can see what I'm doing yeah I think so sorry if it's rocking a bit it's just I need Raymond to fix the arm on my uh, camera so I just do it like that. I mean, even those bits that you cut off, you know, if you're doing hair, save them, spray them, right? Because if you cut them enough and, and thick enough, right, you can actually use them if you spray them with a stiffener like this. And they're quite strong enough to use on a project and use them for hair but, you know it's completely up to you anyway so we're just going to do this again i'm going to fold this again because i want this laid and this is because i'm just sharing with you how to uh, do a technique the best way to get the one that you need and to get it to stay okay so i'm just going to cut this as well don't, don't worry these will always come in handy somewhere I'm going to show you how to do that one okay so to do this one right you need to cut the piece you want so I'm just going to use say uh, three quarters of this and you'd have to do so many panels okay then you need to shape it now the way I do it is don't fold it in half completely right use the bigger scissors fee just because you don't want the crease there do you halfway in the middle of this the, this one is uh, two and a half inches wide but you can have them out you can have them that wide if you want depends how small you're doing it start from the center try and keep it open and run that down to the edge and you've got that shape and then just take your point off there the corner and then you need to round it now if you're not confident about cutting round uh, you know like half a circle or whatever then find something to I mean I like this so what I'm going to do is just use that and you can draw around it like that not quite what I want but I can shape that up I didn't look to measure that properly okay so I'm going to do it by eyeballing it 
like that. So I've got that shape. But then I want the ruche in the middle. So what you do is move that out of the way, take the water, just move that out of the way, get a bit of tissue because you're going to need that as well. <laughs> okay. And just spray that with water in the middle. Okay. Front and back. Make sure it's well saturated in the middle. Give that time to soak. And then wipe your deck. So preparation does, you know, matter. Then all I'm going to do is from there where I've wet it and from that particular point is just crease. It makes it so much easier to crease. And if you're careful and you're using a thick enough cardstock, it won't like that. See? Like that. And you can pull it in like that. You can layer it that way to get that really tight and then let that dry and the more you do it I want to pull that down a little bit more don't so much crease this it's the ends right and the more you do it the more you get it to look like that and that's really really easy let that dry dry it off with a heat gun if you want both sides doesn't matter but be careful that the more heat you put on it it will flatten I just normally let them dry naturally, but I do sometimes obviously use the uh, thingy. So that's one you can use. Now the other one you can do is, of course, where's my scoreboard? Uh, to do a pleat is use your scoreboard. Uh, with my little thing. So if I wanted to do... Pleats, depending on the size of the pleat that I want, I can do it using the scoreboard. So I, first of all, that's what I'm doing is just to do that. But don't leave it at that. Wet it. Wet one end. Okay. What did I do with that bit of tissue? Here we are. Okay. And then what you do is still do that at the top. But then you just normally pleat back and forth. I would do that first, actually. Sorry. Let's do that first. It's just that I don't do it normally. But to help you, if you're a first time you know, paper maker or something like that to, uh, if you want to try this technique. Okay, so we've folded that. Like a concertina. Put your creases in it like that. So you've got that. Now you can use that and let that dry and then you can gather it however you want it. Now, you, um, I've seen dresses that are made from fans and they do so many of them and put them around. But I don't like, um, I'm a bit of a, although I like it nice and elegant, I still like a bit of rough. <laughs> and I'm one that will just undo it and then just scrumple it up like that, see? Because I don't want it perfect. It's not about being perfect. So there. And then I will use that. I'll use a long strip though. Um, and then I can put that onto my... Well, wherever I'm putting it. It doesn't matter. Just make sure it's folded. Like that. See? Go like that, silly old. That's it. 
I can scrumple that up and then release that. But I would do a very long piece and then when it sits on the dress form, see like that, it will lay flatter for one so you don't have these raised areas and um, you can do a lot more with it and then you can layer and layer and layer. So that's another way. Oh, the other way is just basically wet it Sorry about the noise, we've got somebody playing outside of the cars. So we've done that, let that soak, and then I just crumple it. You know? Like that. And really scrunch that up. And you can do it several times, turn it round, do it, I don't know, some, see, some people, I work with my thumbs and fingers, do you know what I mean, like that. And that gives me like a wave in the skirt, which is what I'm going to do for this particular one. But that's not the paper I'm using, so that's just techniques, you can do it that way, scrumpled up and have a wave, like a flounce, or you can do the creased and the... Um, like a concertina that way so it's completely up to you but there are ways and techniques to doing paper folding and that right so what I've got to do now is I have to make the other ones of these and I've got my paper ready and it just really basically I just have to wet it so I'm going to do three sheets at once Oh, look, I've wet my computer. Boom! <laughs> oh, and we've got the raffle winner. Sorry. Uh, Linda Gardner. Linda Gardner, you've won September's raffle. Your parcel's on its way. We did that this morning. Sorry, I meant to do it. I wasn't going to do a video on its own because I just... I don't have time. I've been really, really busy. So, Linda Gardner, you've won September's grand, uh, grand raffle. Please, please, please continue buying your tickets. You've got to be in it to win it. So I hope if anybody knows Linda Gardner, please let her know because <laughs> she might not be watching this video. Oops, see I've just put a hole in that, but never mind. That's it. It's got a nice flounce in that. I'm quicker doing it that way. I'm pulling it towards me to do the crease like that. That's all I'm doing. And then I undo it, and then I do a smaller crease while it's wet. The first crease gives you the flounce, see? First crease gives you that. And then the second crease, because you're making it smaller, helps you flatten the paper out that's going to be glued. And then you get that. Look at that. See? So there are techniques to doing it. And uh, enjoy it. So... Thumbs on pull, thumbs on pull, thumbs on pull. Push down with your fingertips. Gives you your flounce, okay? That gives that. And then undo it and do the smaller ones. Like that. So I now will have to dry those now. Okay. Now. 
So this is the one I'm going to do first. And I've already drawn out where I want it to be. Um, it might work, might not. So hopefully, just let the heat, uh, glue gun heat up again. And um, so what I'm going to do with it, because I might have to join pieces on, is to start on the edge and go round the edge. And then I'm going to layer it with lace and then layer it again. Actually, I've got a different lace. Do I want to change it? We oh, don't know. Just have a look. Do I? I don't know yet. Oh, here we are. I'm not sure if I've got enough of one particular lace, you see. Let's have a look. That might find that a little bit too long. Do I need that first? Yeah, I think I'm going to put that on first. If it works, it works. If it don't, we can change it. Okie dokie. Make sure I get the right side. It's really difficult in this light. To see if I've got the right side or not. Yeah, I think that's the right side. So like I say, I'm going to do this first. See the glue's ready. Glue gun. Hang on. with this I've chosen this is um I don't have it in the shop it's the last piece of my or couple of pieces of my uh, own personal lace and um, <laughs> I'm not sure it's going to work but if I can get it again I will because it's beautiful beautiful lace And we'll have to make sure that that joins there at the front. And then I just join it, you know, here and there. We put that one on top like that. Shame that pulled that. Put a little bit of glue on it. Oh, come on, let's get that off. Well, you're not going to see it with the paper anyway. But yes, I like that. This one doesn't look to be as high. I'm just going to pull that off a little bit and raise it up. Just seems to be in an odd place. <coughs> So we'll just bring that back up. That's better. Yeah, that's better. So you can see I've put that on. Yeah. Now what I'm going to do is to start and glue on these paper bits. Yes, I like that. Um, and what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to make sure that we've got the full a uh, piece at the front and I'm going directly over the front panel that of uh, lace that I've just put on and squash that down like that see but you can see the lace under sorry about that this blooming thing keeps knocking it you can see the lace underneath 
now I just need to turn it around and continue going around what I might do actually is cut this down a little bit but let's get this on and just see how we get on I'm just going to pop that over there and then that has to be gathered just to lay that down on top Just pull it in if you're, uh, you need to. If it is paper, it will stick. You need that gather. And then flatten that down where you can. See? Just can, I'm going to go on this side again. Just glue this bit down. Now, I do want some of the pattern bit, of course, to show. We can take any glue strands off and that afterwards. There we say, manoeuvre it into place and don't forget to squash it in. And then the back panel. Of course, we just need to attach like that. Flatten that down best you can. Excuse me, don't worry about these yet, we'll sort all that out after. We just need to get the layers on. Now that looks gorgeous. See with paper you can play around with it afterwards. Right, now I'm going to do another layer but start here. I want this plain, so I'm going to do another layer. And I might need to make up some more paper. Okie dokie, so let's have a look at this one. So this time we're going to go above, about a centimetre above. Like that, pull that in. See how it layers? pull this back like I say just keep it a centimetre up to what you've already done and don't do too many you know um, because don't forget paper dries instantly or glue dries instantly when you touch this paper more or less like that here's another one I've got the other way you can do it is just to do that and then glue that where you want it to be but it can be a little bit harder because you don't not necessarily getting it in the right position right I've used all mine up so I'm gonna have to go and do some more I'll be back in a tick right so we're back to doing this um, again we just take a little bit at a time. You know, it is um, now. Let me think where it is. It's in Hampton Court, I think it is. Uh, they have a, a display of 
vintage dresses from the 15th, 16th century made from paper. So what they've done is they've copied the design and made them all from, I think it's plain white paper. Um, and that's what they've done at, vintage, at uh, Hampton Court. I think it's Hampton Court. Um, I remember reading that not long ago about it anyway. I'm just going to use that to start off because I might not need all of that. And I'm just taking it down. Oh, sorry, look, see that's gone too far. So I need to pull that down. I was trying to keep it just a centimetre, wasn't I? And then pull that in there. Just to pull that down a little bit, I'm going to take that back. To there. And then that cuts off there. Like that. I do want this open for a reason. So I can do another layer, I think. Yep. And get a bit with a bit of colour in it, a bit more colour in, shall I say. Again, just follow over the line, that's what I'm doing. Let me get another glue stick. Oh, not ready yet. <laughs> Again, going up about a centimetre. Flatten it in, pull that back, yeah, I can probably get another row in as well. Now I need to pull that in and gather that in, like so, I split that, but that doesn't matter as long as that's pulled in. that flatten that down Another piece should just fit. If not, I do have a piece to fit in. So I'm not going to fit it in the front. What I'm going to do is um, the little piece that I cut off before, I'm just going to glue in the back if I have to. So again, we start there. And we're taking that around. Don't worry about all of that. That can be trimmed off with a knife. If you're doing one of these or something similar, you know what? You can do this. Get a Barbie doll. You know, one of the Barbie dolls from your kids. Just tell them it's gone walkies. <laughs> and practice. That's what I'd do. Oops, sorry about that again. Oh, there's enough to go on here. I don't need to do that. There. That's fantastic. Love it. I love the lace underneath because you've got like, you know, pattern paper here and you don't really, well, it doesn't matter if it shows, but I like the lace underneath. I am going to trim this down a little bit so you can see the lace a little bit more. But uh, I need to pull these back for my next project and I might need to slice a bit off. So, sorry about that, and uh, yeah, I like that, I like that a lot, I could lift that a little bit, let me just lift this a bit more, so 
sorry. Oh. Take that off a bit there. Fine. Now, where did I put my piece? I got enough to do um, the lace, I think, to go over the top. I think I can just get that around. Yeah, I'm almost sure I can. Yes, and I'm going to do that. So what I'm going to do is just attach the lace. I'm going to attach it from the back because I think I might need to do something with the front and I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it, but I love that. Let me just get the centre of this. There. That's it. So I'm just going to... It's really hard because it's quite a tall... Um, Uh, tall um, dress form. I'm going to do this on the line. And I'm not pulling it tight or anything. I'm just going with the flexibility of the lace. Hopefully it will work. Now I'm just gluing it to there, I'm not going to do any more just yet, so I've got the other side matching. Now I didn't start with the top section, I could have done, but I didn't do it for a reason. I wasn't sure what I was going to do with it. And I'm still not sure what I'm going to do with it. Now, sorry. Let me just get that glued on there. Sorry. God. Just undo that at the moment. This just needs trimming. See, we just cut it off. And then we're just going to glue that a little bit more to that. I'm not sure. Right, what I need to do, I think, is to cut this section out. It uh, needs to be a little bit wider. So I'm just going to trim this. This is where you can... See, with paper, you can play about. I'm also going to trim that one, but leave the bottom layer up. So let's just glue that in again. to leave that open a minute so I need to take that section out and that section out let's put all them to one side and then I need to just glue that bit in and glue it down that way In there, I'm just going to fold that back, put that down, glue that in. Now, yeah, just let me check. I have to make sure I've got this section right. I'm going to pull that back a bit more. Yep, yeah, that's it. It's got that going to what I want. Yeah, happy with that. I'm not doing anything with that at the moment because, like I said, I'm not sure. So we're just going to leave that on there. Now what I've got to do here is to do um, a frill. Uh, I'm going to lay this down. I may have to manoeuvre this about a little bit. 
Oops. So I'm just going to take off some strips of lace. I'm using this lace. It's the Nottingham lace. Okay, now make sure I tidy it up a little bit. Okay. Sorry, I'm going to have to stand this up and uh, <laughs> I can't do it otherwise. And then I'm going to add that bit under there. And that goes under there as well. That's what I wanted to happen. And then this. Now I can work out where I need this, which is there. And then I can work out where I need this, which is there, I think. And that can pin onto there. And that goes on to there. I think we've got that right. Yeah, not sure if you can see that. Like that. I will take pictures of it. Um, I'm liking that a lot. To lift some of that up. I'm going to lift this up. Yep. Yeah. yeah, that's done what I want it to do. And uh, you'll see it when it's finished. Saving that bit of lace. Now what I've got to do is to make the uh, panel. I'm not sure if you can see that. Hopefully you can. This lot needs to be flattened a little bit. I might just pin that lace down onto there as well. And that one. Like that. Just to give it the effect it needs. Get all the glue off my fingers. <laughs> right. Now what I've got to do is to put the bodice piece on. Because that's where I want it to be. That. Like that. Love it. It's really come on nice. And... Um, I've just got to just let me think I need that and something like that no 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 I don't let me just think because I've got another piece here I really want to put uh, the dress panel in there let me just think in order to make them more flexible for me to put them on so that is actually going to go I'm not bothered about that center piece at the moment there I want that there and I can cut all around that afterwards so I'm going to do my new strips because I think it will be easier for me to work with
That's it. And glue anything down once we've done this. That needs doing. I just need to go around the edge. that back. There's the line. Right, I'm back. Now hopefully I've just, like I say, I've got that done so far. And what I'm going to do is just the top layer of the paper over that trim. We've got the bodice done here, um, which is fine. It's fine by me. I like it as it is. And then what I'm going to do is just, like I say, is my glue going on? Did I swap it over? Yeah, it's just to glue on this paper now forming the top section there which still shows the lace underneath like that see if we can get that going on that, turn it round and then of course we do need that little bit in the back again which is going to go onto that section there just pull that down a little bit to match Then we take the lace, um, which is, I don't think that's big enough, no. So I'm just going to cut a piece of lace to work with, turn it around, hopefully you can see this. Then we're going to take the lace from there, turning that first bit in. And just pulling that into there just to tidy the edge up, that's all. Like that. Gathering this up a little bit here and there. We're going to have a braid over it. But you don't, you know, don't want it to pull it tight and have it taut. Uh, you want it where it's going to look nice. And like I say, pop it on, put a tuck in it. Pop it on, put a tuck in it. And that's all you need to do. Oops. Like that. It just gives it, a, I should have done it a little bit more here actually, but it doesn't matter. little bit of a tuck and then I'm going to fold that end in like I did the other one a little bit awkward like that I'm quite happy with that very happy with it actually it looks gorgeous See, and I can shape this, lift it up a bit if I have to, or if I want to. It's completely up to me what I do with it. Um, now, I do need the right, I'm not sure what braid to put on it, and I've been thinking 
what braid I need one that's going to, I don't know, maybe this will do. Yeah, I, those colours have to match, you see. The colours have to be right, to be honest. And it's got to go around the top as well. And I don't want anything too big. So let's just have a look. Oh, glue everywhere. Now I need something around that middle section first. That is fine to go around there. In fact, I quite like that. So we'll use that. I just want a little bit around the waist. I think I'm gonna use this one because it's broad and it will work. Yeah, it's going on. <laughs> Whether it likes them or not, it's going on. Let me just singe my end bits there. Now I'm going to put it into a V, like that, and then I have to pull this really tight. So, so I want this to go round the waist and cover everything, more or less. but it has to look right so this has to be pulled in the right direction and then pinched maybe pinched a little bit at the back there oops don't go on there mate so this needs to be crisscrossed there singe that a little bit singe it <laughs> I know what I mean right that's too much pull that down it has to fit flush because that's how I want it to fit and there we go so we just so it keeps that V and then what I'm going to do, I love it. I absolutely love it. Easy. <laughs> I like it. You have to push that right in. And I, I just love it. I think it's come out really well. Really well. And then I'm going to cut a piece of this and start in the center sorry if it's close to the camera or I don't know not now reason why I've chosen the loop is because I can actually hang a pearl drop from there if I want to and I might just do that because it's quite an elegant dress paper dress and I can hang beads all the way along actually if I want to. I'm not sure if I will, but if I want to I can. I just need to make sure this is about the same. Yeah. And we're going to follow the line across. Sorry, it's really awkward because it's quite bulky. like that now I can paint the bodice if I want to but I don't think I will although I might do <laughs> I think I might paint it cream I'm not sure not not sure oh I need to put that yes we need to stop that so that uh, it gets seen oh, the seam bit goes quite where it should do like that so let me just see
That'll do. Not fussed about that. I'll take that in there. That's fine. Quite happy with that. Just need to bring this piece up a little bit. I need to push that up. That's it. There, I'm quite happy with that. Love it. <laughs> All matches. like the way you can see the lace at the sides so next don't know let me just clear my desk a little bit am I filming this I hope so get rid of that bit uh, I need something here and I need to dangle a little well not a little one I want a decent sized pearl so let me just find my loops Right, as you can see, it is finished. I just had to put the little decorations on. I know it's not probably what you expected, but it's my vision and it's what I wanted to do. Um, these are all glued down. I've made three little drops. Um, I did lace it up because it is a frilly dress made from paper and lace. And uh, I'm absolutely thrilled with it. It's exactly what I wanted it to be. And I love it. So I hope you like that. Thanks for watching. Take care and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye bye for now.